Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be transitioning from the beautiful apple arrangements that I love to do for fall into a beautiful pumpkin which will drive us right into Halloween. I am so excited to be partnering with Balsam Hill on today's video. I have all kinds of decorating inspiration for you. So if you're new here, definitely hit the subscribe button because in about 10 days I will be launching Halloween which I plan to go completely over the top and you guys I got the biggest Santa Claus in the world to go into our front yard so please definitely hit the subscribe button because I do not want you to miss Christmas it has been one year in this house and I plan to go over the top. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I love to do all things homemaking and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. It's totally free and if you're returning, it is so great to see you. Okay guys, let's jump into this beautiful fall decorate with me 2023. Since we are in this house around this time last year, we were moving into it and still doing a couple little things to this banister. This banister used to be kind of like a nice oaky brown. Um, I thought this year would be really fun to hang garland down the staircase since I haven't done that here, but I used to do it at my old house. So I am taking my um, autumn traditional garland, which I've actually had this and used it at the um, downtown Victorian for a couple years. And then this year, Balsam Hill was kind enough to send me a 10 foot so it would fit all the way down this banister. I am so grateful for that. And then I also have two of the autumn traditional wreaths that I love. I have one going at the top and one down at the bottom. So I will show you guys how that all turns out. I just love the way that when you walk into the house, you'll see at the end of this video, this garland really warms it up and brings the fall from outside into the house. Tell me in the comments down below if you have stairs, do you hang traditional garlands down your staircase? One of the things I love about Balsam Hill is the attention to detail that they put into all of their trees, garlands, all of their home decor. I love these are real pine cones. I love the pumpkins are really beautiful and the foliage is the absolute perfect color of orange. This to me is something I use every single year and I absolutely love it. I thought it would look nice to remove this table and bring back the one that I've kind of always had on this wall. It's a really long wall, which we are still going to probably end up uh, removing this part of the house. And um, I'll share that probably next year because as we're getting closer to Christmas, I really don't wanna do any construction in the house. Praying to God we get the floors in before then, but if not, I don't mind waiting but I wanted to bring that long table in. And then for this area, I'm actually gonna bring in the rest of this couch. I had half of it in storage and I wanted to bring the other half back so we can make this a little bit more cozy for fall. In the summertime, I just kind of made this a little more spacious so that um, the kids could play in here. We don't really use this space as much as I'd like to, but it's just such an awkward place to kind of entertain people. But um, I'm gonna bring the couch down and we'll continue to decorate this area. It's a little later in the evening and I was making dinner for the kids. We were actually barbecuing chicken and I wanted to go ahead and rearrange this couch. So I went ahead and changed, I was sweating. It's so funny here in Northern California. In the mornings, it is so cold and in the afternoons, it starts to get hot. So I wanted to change and get dinner on the table. But the other thing I wanna do is get this couch rearranged. I absolutely love this couch. I will link it down below. It's one of the best couches because it can move in a million different ways. It can be really deep, it can be short, it can be, a settee, it can be a love seat. It's a great couch, but it's really high quality. The other thing I wanted to do was start to add some warmth to this room. So I got one of our ladders um, from the old house and I thought I would just add it over here in the corner and throw some blankets over it. 
The other thing I want to do is add like a little basket with some of the pumpkins I got from Balsam Hill this year. I ended up going with their fairy tale stackable pumpkins, which you may have gotten a glimpse of earlier in this video. And the other one I picked up was their tabletop heirloom pumpkins. These are so beautiful. Oftentimes I get most of our home decor from like Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, Target, Kirkland's, which is really far from my house. Um, but they never seem to have the quality that the ones from Balsam Hill do. So I am so grateful to partner with Balsam Hill and to be able to pass these down for multiple generations. If you guys are looking to purchase anything from Balsam Hill, definitely use my code FALLNICHOLSON for $50 off a minimum of $300 from Balsam Hill. They also provide free shipping. You guys will use this year over year. And if you think about all the pumpkins that we buy from Home Goods and end up discarding after a year or two, you won't have to do that with Balsam Hill. We have been buying stuff from Balsam Hill for many years and I still have everything that I've ever purchased from there and the condition is amazing. So definitely check the links down below if you guys are looking to invest in beautiful decor, not only for fall, they have spring, Christmas, everything, and it's absolutely beautiful. I thought I'd use a couple of those beautiful heirloom pumpkin tabletop decor items to just warm up this area, but I really want to do something over the top. What do you think would look beautiful in the corners of this living room? For the mantle, I wanted to continue with that fun pumpkin theme, and I love it, these stackable jack-o'-lanterns. They're so cute, but for the fall season before Halloween, you just turn them around and no one even knows. These are super cute. I will share those in an upcoming video for my Halloween Decorate With Me. I'm gonna go kind of sweet to very spooky, so definitely hit the subscribe button if you guys love Halloween and checking out fun decor for the season. I get a lot of questions asking if I pre-decorate, take everything down, and then film my decorating. I absolutely don't. It takes me forever to put all these vignettes together. Just like you probably do at home, I do it the same way. I do it once and I try to make it perfect, but I fiddle with it throughout the season, that's for sure. One thing I really love is bringing out this old autumn sign. If you guys are OGs on my channel, you know I've had that before I even started YouTube and it just reminds me of so many wonderful memories of fall. Over here I was going to add my fairy tale stackable pumpkins from Balsam Hill. These are so beautiful. You guys are absolutely going to love them. I will link them down below. And then to this chair I thought I'd just add a simple little throw and warm it up with a nice tan neutral pillow. I decided to move this little side table over here and just add one of my fall arrangements and a basket. I found this really pretty scarf that I really love, but it's a little bit too warm for a scarf at this time of year where I live. So I thought I would just add it to this basket and then tuck in some of the pumpkins I found at Trader Joe's, which is honestly really the first place in my hometown where we actually have pumpkins. I did see some go up at Whole Foods and I'm sure there might be some at some other grocery stores, but it was really exciting to see them. So I snagged a couple and I thought it'd be nice to put a little harvest basket together.
On this wall, I thought it'd be nice to add another ladder with some deeper tones since this is such a white wall with such neutral tones and then pile up the rest of my heirloom and fairy tale stackable pumpkins. I also have some little mini signs that I've had for years that I thought would look really cute here. Um, I eventually am going to find a, a couple of real pumpkins to start to trade these out with because I just think they're so beautiful. I also don't know what to do underneath these pumpkins, so if you have comments down below or some advice on how to kind of stage the area underneath this, I would love to know what you guys think would look best. It was feeling a little boring to me so I thought I would pop in a couple of the extra stems I had from some of the arrangements around the house and I think these look really cute. I found almost all of these at Target last year or the year before, it depends on which ones I'm playing with today, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to use different trees or different leaves rather around this uh, little vignette to kind of bring in again the feelings from outside in, even though all the trees in my neighborhood are bright green. For the entryway, I'm just going to be adding a set of my fairy tale stackable pumpkins and a nice cozy blanket. Since my son still plays basketball over here, I didn't want to add too much, but eventually that will be changing. But for now, we're going to let him just continue to have fun playing basketball in the living room. Over here by the fireplace, I thought I'd add this beautiful candle I picked up from Home Goods. It smells so good. I ended up buying a bunch of them because I just think they smell so lovely. And here is how everything turned out. I am loving the transition of fall in here. Yes, I do wish that the floors were redone and there were a couple things that were different, but honestly, walking into this room feels so cozy. It reminds me so much of walking in to our old house and it feels really good to have it all done. I wanna thank Balsam Hill for helping me make this possible. Definitely check out the links down below if you guys are interested in purchasing a Christmas tree from Balsam Hill or any of their decor, definitely use the code Fall Nicholson for $50 off a $300 order. They also have amazing sales that go on and that code is on top of that. So if you guys are looking to upgrade it this year for Christmas, I highly recommend checking them out. I will also tell you, we will have another 12 trees going up this Christmas, one of which is a 15 foot balsam hill tree. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you are looking for some Christmas decor inspiration. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Give this video a thumbs up for Chewy and definitely subscribe if you guys wanna see so much more fall, Halloween, and Christmas decorating because this year, I really, really wanna go over the top. Last year was really hard to, to do all this in a new house, but this year, you guys, we're coming in hot for all the holidays. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye.